Yes. But sh- it was 99 cents. Got my name on it. Not to go and get some compliments. Passing up on those pockets. And someone else has been walking in. But me and Gorgie fucking it. I'm stunting a piece of it. Saving my money. And I'm hella happy that you're working. I'm gonna take your grandpa style. I'm gonna take your grandpa style. No, for real. Ask your grandpa. Hey everybody, me and Junior Chicken here are going to be playing a game called Press Conference. I don't know his persona, and I'm going to have to, or rather, sorry, he doesn't know his persona, and I'm going to have to ask him questions and give him clues to what he is. Hello everybody, welcome to this uh, press conference. I will do my best to answer all of your questions, and I apologize if I uh, don't have the time to get to yours, okay? Why do you think people don't take you so seriously? Maybe because I'm just a laughable, kind of funny guy. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Um, so, what, why the, uh, the banana flavored toothpaste? Um, bananas are usually my favorite uh, fruit, so... Okay, yeah, <laughs> I guess we could have guessed that. Um, so, I mean, you're probably the first of your kind to ever embark on a journey like this. Um, what are you going to do when you get there? Well, I'm going to mark it as my territory, just like anyone else would, by peeing on it. Yeah, okay, that's good. And perfect. then I'm going to just uh, hop around like a maniac until I get tired and just then leave the place. Well, I heard that's what Armstrong did. So, what are you going to say to your... Uh, your beautiful wife um, and your children before you take off. That uh, if I don't make it, they get everything that I own and uh, I don't know what else. <laughs> yeah. So, when NASA selected you, what did you feel like? Oh, I was ecstatic. I mean, I couldn't believe that I would actually do this. So, how does fur react in space? Well, because it's very dry and very non-atmospheric in a way, it tends to get very uncomfortable, staticky and some of the NASA staff um, had a problem with you flinging your poo. Is that going to be an issue? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I think I've also been caught eating it, too. Oh. <laughs> well, you have uh, our salute, sir. Thank you for doing this for a proud American race. No problem. All right. I was a chimpanzee going to uh, The space. first one to go into space. Yeah, that's right. Hey, you down there. Yeah, you. You're being pretty dangerous right now and you don't even know it. Yeah, that's right. It's a dangerous world down there in your home. The place that you thought was safe. But don't worry. This guide will teach you how to be more safe in your own house. Now, step number one. Always Walk around the house with pillows on your feet. Because you never know what you might step on. There you go. Yeah, get it on nice and tight. Oh, make sure you tie those tight. There you go. Perfect. Looking good. All right. Next, make sure when you sit down on your couch, you lie down, belly down. Hey, that's wrong. That's back down. There you go. Belly down. Perfect. Now your vital organs are protected by the soft, cushiony couch. Hey, don't forget about your ceiling. Look how bent and twisted it is. Uh-oh. It could come crashing down on you in any second. Quick, get some pillows over your head. There you go. Now you're nice and safe. Oh, wait. You might suffocate. Get out of there. Oh, okay. Good. You're safe. You're safe. Now. Stand up here on your couch and I'll tell you what to do. Because the ground may hold many termites and bugs that could make your floor unsteady, 
You always want to move around on the furniture. Now hop over to the other couch instead. There you go. Make sure you don't touch the floor. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, good thing you stepped on your pillow though. Make sure you keep those pillows on your feet. Okay. Now look up. You got to turn those light off behind you because the bright light might damage your corneas. Uh oh, the switch is stuck. Quick, just turn it over. Oh, you got it. Uh oh, you burnt your hand. As it happens when you don't have protected light bulbs. Well, now that you burnt your hand, you're gonna have to go find a band aid. Maybe it's by that other light over there. Oh, uh, uh, got one. Whoa, don't stretch so much, you might fall. Oh, oh, no, you're okay, you're okay. Now sit down before you put that bandage on. It's easy to lose your balance. That's right, belly up. That's a pro right there, kids. All right, he's got his bandage on his fingers. Now the last thing he needs to do is make sure he shuts all the blinds because he doesn't want strangers peeking in his house and knowing what he's doing. There you go. Oh, leave a little space of light so you can tell if it's hailing outside. You might need to close your blinds. Perfect job. All right, now you're pretty much ready to enjoy living in your own home. The last thing you need to do is make sure that when you go to bed, you've got all the doors closed. Oh, I think that door upstairs is unlocked. Quick, go get it. You see kids, he didn't forget his pillow shoe. Oh, and this friends is a guide on how not to be safe. Uh.